Hey guys, me Kills here from Delta Productions. Today I'll be showing you how to use App Tracker, which is um, after this is new website. Um, I'll just be showing you how to download that from there and put it on your iPod. Also, if you have any troubles, um, read the description and please read the annotations that I put up because lots of people in my last video were asking me questions that I had answered in the description and stuff. So just don't forget to check those things out. Uh, before we start, I just want to show you a couple websites here. First thing is uh, sevensins.com. Go check it out. Um, and their forums um, has lots of stuff to do with like different gaming stuff. But if you go down, there's stuff to do with iPods. And yeah, you can ask any questions or whatever. A lot of people here know what they're doing. So yeah, you can just ask them. And the thing is, uh, check out my one friend's channel here. Um, it's at our designs. I will put a link in the description. Um, yeah, just check them out. Subscribe if you want. Um, yeah. Okay, so first thing is you go to apptracker.org. I will put a link in the description for that. Um, once you get here, it's I personally like this setup better than the last than Apulus because well first of all they got a better server and everything so I don't know it just works better. So what you do is once you come here you can search for all the different type of things so I'll go to games um, so right now I think it shows the yeah, newest apps and updates you can just alphabetical order and stuff like that so what you do is you find the game that you want to download. Um, whatever this is, I'll download Smart Drop. Sure. Uh, you let it load. Oh, so one thing here, um, you can't actually go back. That just takes you like to your last website. Um, you just press this to return to app list to go back. So it doesn't actually reload the page; it just updates sort of. So it's pretty cool. Um, so for here you can, it's, I don't know, I like the setup better on this too, but so it tells you all the information and everything, and then you can look at the different screenshots for the game. Um, okay, so, one thing that people did not listen to me that I told in the last one is, if you can, don't, like, do not download from appscene.org. It has a really slow cap. So instead of getting your max download speed, you'll probably get about 10% of your normal download speed. So just just don't download there. That's what I recommend. If you have to, yeah, sure. But if not, don't. So click on the whatever link you want. Uh, I should the four shared. You go download now. Uh, just wait the 10 seconds. Mm, one thing is, is um, okay. Anyways, uh, I made a Twitter account, so you can go check that out. You can subscribe to me on that. Um, yeah, I'll put the link there. I've never really used it before. I just decided that I maybe should put one up. So yeah, I'll try to use that as much as I can. So what you do is just uh, click here, download this file download it okay so this is easy to do it's a dot IPA file so just save it to your desktop or wherever you save it your downloads to um, one thing if it downloads as a dot dot zip or dot rar what you will need to get is um, you'll need to get winrar should have it somewhere um, you just download it from, you just google WinRAR. WinRAR. Then it should just be the first link here. It should be WinRAR Lab or something like that. Uh, RAR Lab. Just go here. 
downloads. I'll put the link of this in the description. But yeah, so you just download and then download either 64 bit or 32 bit, whatever you're on. Um, it says trial, but it's actually works. It just pops up with the please purchase thing. So, anyways, if you were here, um, yeah, I don't. But anyways, what you do is if it's a WinRAR thing is or WinZip whatever, the file would be just pretend to be there. You just double click on it. This thing will open up. Okay, what you do is extract. You find, the, click on the file you want. Click extract to. Yeah, it won't let me, but extract to, and then you can extract wherever you want. And pretty much what it does is just puts it into its folders or whatever. So, just go to your your game or your file, whatever you downloaded, wherever you put it. So now what you need to do is your iPod, oh yeah, crap, I didn't really say this at the beginning, but your iPod has to be jailbroken, and you need AppSync from the Installus, or, yeah, Installus, whatever, repo on your iPod. I will also put that in the description. So now what you do is you just find that if you want, click, drag, and put it into where it says applications. Put it there, it'll take whatever couple seconds. So we'll put it into here. Oh, where is it? Over there. Um since it's there I just have to make sure it's gonna make sure that you have it to sync it. Like mine should automatically be sync, but oh crap, it's better not set. Okay, yeah. So, and then just push the sync button. It'll sync. So your iPod will look like that. No, obviously not like that, but so it'll sync the app. Um, that's really it. They don't care. Anyways, so um, they just let it sink. There we go. Um, so if anyone wants to know what my theme is, it's GOC Pro. Um, normally you have to pay for it, but if, if enough people request it, I'll put up a video on how to get it for free. So just go over, right there, there it is. Push it, there you go, game works. Um, it won't show because of the VNC, but yeah. Um, that's all. Um, if you have any questions or whatever, just leave a comment. Um, Please look at the annotations in the description because I will post or I will whatever put different questions and answers in there if they've been asked enough because I really don't want to answer the same question four or five times over and over again because people are too lazy to read one comment below. Um, yeah, but.